Begin tonight with some better news and a very stressful time for people who live along the Licking River. A forecast yesterday would have caused serious flooding in Falmouth, but as Genesis Narrows tells us live, the new predicted crest for the river much lower. That is good news, Jenna. That's right, and the threat for major flooding is thankfully over. We're starting to see that water recede, and the perfect example of that is looking at the side of this house where you could see where that water once sat, and if you look a little further in the distance, the top of that stick, I'm told you couldn't even see it this morning because that flood water was just so high, and locals here are just telling me they are so thankful that this is nothing like the 97 floods. I never prayed so hard in all my life. A sigh of relief for Falmouth residents as it was a day of unpacking versus cleaning up. I just thought we we're going to get it. Dixie Owens owns Wyatt Supermarkets in Falmouth. She says she prepared for the worst after living through the historic 1997 flood. In 97, lost my home. That was on Pendleton Street. We lost this. We lost that building over there. She shut her store down Tuesday to prepare for what was to come, and homeowners did the same. I've got kids. Um, the van was packed up in case we did have to just take off. Many prepared for what could have been a disaster. It would have been uh, about half of Falmouth would have been flooded underwater. So, uh, you know, we took the opportunity yesterday to warn people and give them, give them a chance to uh, evacuate. Moore says he's thankful the town took the warning seriously and while some roads still remain closed because of the high water, people are grateful this time they dodged a bullet. It was a good feeling to wake up to after the chaos of yesterday. What a tremendous relief. Emergency management officials did give the all clear for people to return home and for businesses to resume as normal. And we also saw crews with Duke to turn the gas back on. We're live in Falmouth, Genesis Narrows, Local 12 News.